Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Let me hit you with some stuff from my notes. Let me let me do this. We're going to have Vincent on again, and um, I know we're like, you know, whenever we have fun like this, time goes real fast. And I You're going to beat fun. him, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to beat him. <laughs> no, 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 Vince. First of all, Vince, I really like you, man. I, I really nah, do, nah, honestly. Nah. Honestly, I really like you. I'm not, you wouldn't be here otherwise, man. We're so, still have to lie. Uh, yeah, I, exactly. I totally, you, I totally agree <laughs> with you, man. I'm there all about, go. I'm all about rogues, okay? I'm a nerd, but I'm all about rogues, man. I come from pirate blood, so you're my kind of dude you know what i'm saying <laughs> so, <laughs> you know look look i got the right here on my wrist let me see if i can show this i got the skulls to prove it right there okay so listen um here's something from the atf right that's leaking out some news if atf uh, if atf seizes ammo from you for whatever reason right and then you prove that you should have rightly had that ammo they destroy it anyway when they seize it they destroy it Here's their policy. They will only refund you ten cents per round, regardless of what ammo it was. That's that's where the f did you get that? Oh, that's can coming I out. Say that? Yes, can I you can. say that? You can. you can. I have sources. Okay. I have sources. Dude. This is legit. Dude. First of all, we either seize or we retain property. <laughs> if we have an investigation <laughs> ongoing. Yeah. No, dude. Quote unquote. <laughs> I'm just telling you, mm -hmm. if we go in there and there's some question whether you're prohibited but we can't find the records or or whatever the scenario, mm -hmm. we retain the property. Then we find out, okay, he's a lawful citizen. He's never been convicted. We had a false uh, hit on a NCIC or something. We give him his back. If we seize it, if we seize it, then... Your only mechanism is to file in court and try to get your back. But if we seize it, we seize it for a criminal violation. Okay, this will be coming out. This is not, I don't know if it's news yet. Um, it may be. I think the story might already be out there. Okay, so May 31st, Regina Lombardo, that's her resignation date. I don't know if you're aware of that. That's the I am aware of that. Yeah, that's I, I the love acting. Regina. I like Regina a lot. Oh, you do? I do. Huh. Okay. She was, okay. A good, she was a really good agent. She was a really shitty director. Okay. All right. That you know what? That's fair, man. That's that's this is the reason why I like you. Let me ask you this. Would you like knowing what you know about the ATF today and the direction that it's going, right? If we could wave a wand, make you a younger uh, you know, Vince Sheffalu, would you go back and work for the ATF again? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. So that's interesting. Dude, I never, I never once put a law-abiding citizen in prison. Never once. In fact, I went above and beyond, got my ass kicked by bosses who were like, well, we have a technical violation here, and, you know, they might have or might not. I, no, no, I'm not getting a search warrant or I'm not arresting anybody. This is bullshit. It was a 20 year old thing. We got bad guys on the street. So yeah. no, I would, I would go to work for ATF because most, and I'm saying the vast majority of the agents I work with and the bosses were honorable men and women. They okay. did. They did. Okay, so um, a couple of things here. Armament and Axis says, looking at Hank's hat, it says go left or right. Uh, it's actually an H. That's a high point hat right there. High point, that's high point. Yeah, um, and in honor of Barn Newells that's uh, sponsoring the uh, podcast here, uh, there's, there's an affiliation with High Point. You guys will have to look to look into that. I'm not, I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about that, but uh, I think people know that. I just I just saw an advertisement where they got the two together. It's, it's yeah. Nothing, it's, yeah, it's nothing it's, hidden. Yeah, absolutely. So, and then, uh, let's see. Night Train says, I have seen the ATF up close and personal action. Little minds with little power. That's from Night Train. But but here's the thing. Before Vince reacts to that, Walter, one of the things we should not miss out on here is you should tell Vince your story with the ATF. 
And 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 by the way, tell Vince what you do, like what you guys make over at Safety Harbor Firearms. Okay. I, I since two thousand three, I've made a bolt action upper conversion for an AR fifteen lower. Bolt action, bolt action. Okay. Do it with your hand. Okay. Never had any. Never had any issues. Never. I never even sent one in to get a, a determination in the beginning because it's a bolt action upper, right? Okay. Well, in two thousand eighteen. Now let me preface this a little bit. Some of these uppers, not because of anything I did, have ended up in Mexico and have ended up in Brazil and been using bank robberies in Brazil. Everybody's guns end up in different places. That's mm-hmm. not my fault. That's fair. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's that, that, that's that trafficker. Yep, that's the trafficker it. thing you were talking about. Yeah. So no, um, I get no. a little... I, 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 I don't believe that's true. I mean, if I was making guns here, like just nice handguns or high end uppers, like you said, bolt bags and everything. Generally, normally, usually, you expect to sell to like hunters and, and American citizens, right. but every now and then they go across the border. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the way it is. Yeah. Everybody's done. Um, so in 2018, we get a letter. It says, uh, uh, We, uh, I can't remember exactly if they said determine. You know, your your gun has characteristics similar to this, that, and the other. You might want to get a determination. Well, I interpreted that letter as saying, you better do this or we're going to come down and right, knock on your door right. and, and, and close you down. So I, I, we fiddled the faddled around with it. I hired some uh, attorneys that are familiar with dealing with ATF, the new Marvin Richardson and new um, – these, and so these are people that are known in the business – um, we ended up making an appointment. I went to, I went to the belly of the beast in DC. I got to see Damn. the Waco model. I got to see the Waco model in the hallway and the whole nine yards and all Shameful. that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, I kept my mouth shut. I was good. I was good. good. We met with, there was with us, two, my two lawyers and me and a whole table full of ATF people in the cross from me, from the tech branch, Marvin Richardson, their lawyer people. Um, some other ones, I, I can't remember all their names. We had discussions. We yeah. talked. There were smiles. Marvin Richards said, well, we want to have good relations with the manufacturer, you know, with the industry. You know, and he was smiling and he's all happy. And I went away thinking, well, maybe something will come of it. Marvin Richardson is a tool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, um, yeah. So go ahead, Walt. <laughs> so what happened when you got your uh, letter? I submitted I submitted a sample, went to, went to the tech branch. Um, that was during one of the times when we had the government shutdowns at the end of the year. Remember all that funness? Mm-hmm. So my right. determination took about five or six months. And in, in the meantime, I'm not making that those parts and I'm you know, about three quarters of my income went away. Um, um, finally, the letter comes back. Ah, oh, your upper is considered, it has the same characteristics as a bolt action rifle. Therefore it needs to be serial numbered. That's pretty much it. So, and there was some things in the determination letter that probably could have been well, fought. In court. The, I'm, I'm just curious. Where's the problem with that? Uh, oh, man, I think that me. I think so now. So this means that so he Walter's making a upper that goes on an AR-15 lower. Obviously, the serial the number's lower. Yeah, the serial number is lowered. So if someone already has a lower, they could put it on there. If they buy a lower from Walter, it would be serialized. Now they're saying that the upper also has to be serialized. So now you literally have two different serial numbers if you have these guns. And that's just because it's bolt action no, on the I'm upper part you. of it. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, they, so they, since, bad since they said policy it, makes bad case law. <laughs> We've done this. That's what ATF does. We can't get out of our own way sometimes. And mm-hmm. so here, so they, they went after particularly the 50 caliber people doing this, right? Because from what I understand, there's I still that. people doing other smaller calibers and they weren't required to do this. Now, I thought the law or whatever they call it. The law is supposed to apply to everyone equally, right? Yeah. yeah well, that's that's what the law says. Now, I probably could have fought this in federal court, and, and I don't know if I would have won anything. It probably would have cost 100 grand plus. Yeah, but who's got the money to do that? Right. And I, 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 
I, I didn't I didn't go any further with it. I just yeah. Didn't know I mean, and, and someone as uh, LV Louis Cipher is saying here, it's not even usable without the lower. Now we, we shoot himself in the foot. ATF has historically used their regulatory authority to make yeah. bad case law. Yeah. I and, think I think and, that should have been fought, Walter, because now look at what they're trying to do. They're trying to serialize everything now. They're gonna to try to serialize barrels, triggers, talking, uppers, lowers, of, uh, you know, your pistol grip of re, stocks. There's been talk there's been talk of re classifying the AR fifteen where the upper is the serial number part and the lower not. Well, because technically the lower shouldn't be the serialized it part either. <laughs> the only reason it was serial numbered because back in the day when Colt submitted it or Armalite submitted it, yeah. it was the e it was the easy place to put. We're, the number we're dealing on with superstition. When you have an agency d treating everything like superstition, this is what happens. They're not dealing with facts or the law or anything like well, that. They're not dealing but, with their well, own, their own I, facts. I got it. I got to interject here. Mm -hmm. When we make bad policy like that, it generally gets reversed in the courts. I, I mean, I'm not saying that's okay. But I'm saying when we get stupid, right. and we have, it gets reversed, and it never gets. I don't know if we can rely on that anymore. Yeah, I think this goes yeah, back I to I think the I think the times that we were all born in. You know when yeah, there was when, when there was more honor and all that kind of stuff, and we can and we could depend on the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is refusing to take up cases even, related to the even, corruption in the last election. They're refusing to take even, up those cases. Even the circuit courts. The circuit courts are all political now. Yeah, I mean you yeah, got the ninth are. circuit. I mean, so you can't rely on getting a fair judgment in any of these courts because because they're they were appointed by Bill Clinton. Okay, so they're a leftist. This one was appointed by uh, Bush. Well, you know, never with Bush. Half of Bush's people are leftists too, so it, it, it's like, I'm, am I going to spend two hundred grand in court just to get told too bad, so sad? Have a nice day. You know, it's like, no, fuck. I it. don't know um, even <laughs> where you would get the month, the two hundred grand as a small manufacturer to fight the ATF, which is dealing with government money to, Nobody, to p no. basically put you out of business. But there's, there's the N the NRA, the NSSF. <laughs> No, NRA. They're, useless. They're, they're useless as tips on a bar hog. Yeah. Sorry. They're, not a fan. Not gonna, I'm not a not fan of the NRA. Uh, the NRA has failed us. The NSSF, I don't think. I, I think I also anybody. believe they failed us, in my personal opinion. Uh, you know, but wow. that's stuff that we look at maybe probably a little bit closer than you, Vince. You know, the NRA I, has done a lot of bad things, especially in the last couple of years here. They've misused the money that they were given. They were completely ineffective in these last elections that went by. This is why we have so many Republican turncoats and all that going on. The NSSF is just basically yeah. employed in, like, getting people to shot show and getting money out of people. Um, yeah, I know they don't like to hear that from me, but I don't really see them doing anything for the industry. But they're the best show in town. But then we need to do uh, I mean, better. Fight. Who else is gonna fight ATF? You, me? No, we need. We, there are people. There are organizations out there that are fighting them. But I think the money is going to places. Uh, the predominant amount of that money is going to places that are not fighting. I think GOA is doing yeah. what it could do on a very limited budget. I think uh, you know FPC. Uh, there's other organizations out there, right, that are doing things. Nobody. But the NRA remember, had the most money. At the end of the day, the American people. The American people have the voice. And I get it, it's been tamped down. I get it. But Biden's going to uh, sign a gun czar. And uh, he's again, he wants to shoot shotguns in the sky and everything. That is never going to happen. Uh, yeah. That Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.